Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm April Cornell, and I have been a designer and artist working in the field of textiles and home goods for more than 40 years. I love color, I love flowers, and I love um, working joyfully in my home and for my home. Today we're in um, our garage in Vermont, and this doubles as my husband's um, workshop in the summertime. It's kind of an unusual uh, uh, conversation today, a creative conversation. It's more of a creative collaboration because I'm actually collaborating with my husband, you know how that can be, on a project. This is a project that he came up with, which is building a toy box for our granddaughter. So he built the toy box and then he asked me to collaborate on painting it. As you know, we've been locked down for over a month and some of us are alone. And part of this collaboration and creative conversation is to reach out to you and to others and let's just start a dialogue together and enjoy some time together. If you like this, please share it or give me comments. I will respond to your comments. And maybe there's somebody else who get in the conversation if you share it, and they can be a part of this group too. So thanks for that. So I was pretty intrigued with painting the toy box because it's five separate canvases. And uh, so that's a pretty cool idea, but I actually was at a loss for the subject. And I was thinking flowers, that didn't really seem toy boxy. And of course that is my thing, flowers. And then my husband suggested um, circus. That seemed like something to have fun with. And so we went for the circus tent and the elephant and giraffes. And on the sides it got a little more natural, a little more maybe uh, zebras in the wild type of thing. So it was kind of fun that right around the time, just after actually the time that we were working on this movie, Dumbo came out, which just happened to be my granddaughter's favorite movie. So kind of a Dumbo box. We've got a couple of Dumbos going around here. Um, in terms of materials, I think this might be interesting for you. The background is uh, a satin latex, just a regular indoor satin latex, interior satin latex. Um, I use three or four different colors and just brushed them on and then brushed another one on top. It was really a turquoise, a blue, a yellow, a green and a white and then so all of the um, you can see the turquoise the yellow turquoise yellow coming through and just doing the opposite on different sides the um, actual paintings were done with um, acrylics I favor Holbein a beautiful quality but you can use any acrylics that you can get your hands on um, then there's some wonderful features of the box that um, are important from the carpenter's point of view and from the child's point of view. So the features, you can see that this is shaped here and on the sides so that a, a child, should they get inside, they won't hurt their hands if this closes on them and also there will always be air. Now the other thing is for safety is there's a piston hinge so it's not going to slam closed on them. Those are really two really fantastic features, I think, of this and that just kind of make you relieved as well. And they're pretty, they're pretty. Um, the top is set in a little bit, so you can make that for a board, Legos or something like that. You can play on there, little fairies, animals, dollies can play on there, tea parties. That's a good one, tea parties you could do on there too. So I think the features are really important in this box and kind of make it a little more upgraded than your average toy box. So my husband asked me to collaborate with him on the box and I asked him to collaborate with me on the painting. So he said, you know, I took drawing when I was a kid and I feel like I can only do stick figures. But over his time with me, he has gained an insight into just trying it and just going for it. He is a naturally creative person, but he didn't figure he could do this type of, you know, more precise drawing. And he came up with his own way of putting his imprint on the box. And I really, really like it. Flowers, drip flowers inside, Chloe's name, a heart, and a whole series of drips. I'm just a whole sprangly mishmash of 
color and paint and uh, form over here. You can see the drip process that he used, which totally, I was so impressed, but he just basically poured out of a tin, uh, out of a container, and controlled it by turning, you know, to the different surfaces. But very cool, using the different colors, all the colors that we had. And um, so we just bought these small containers. Uh, this was happened to be Sherwin-Williams. There are different brands available. So you don't need to invest in a lot of paint. I got it at Lowe's, you know, could be Home Depot also, but we got it at Lowe's. Um, so that was kind of a, you know, very simple purchase and you can keep it for other projects in, in the future. Dumbo really likes it and so does his pal, Pedro. We like it. I really, really like it. I think it gives a lot of joy uh, to the box. It gives it a different kind of opened up feel. As your creativity should open up, it should be how you feel and who you are. As I like to say, don't try and be someone else, try and be you. It is so much easier. Whenever I try and do what somebody else is doing, I'm always disappointed. When I try it myself, you know what? What are your expectations? My expectation is to have fun, feel good about it, and enjoy the process. And I usually find a way to like it afterwards too. I like it's mine. I like it. Well, that is truly his, and I like it. And I, I think he kind of likes it too. Interestingly enough, on the lid, my mother, who's almost 91, is living with us. And I said, come on, Mom, do something, do something. No, I can't do something. She used to love to paint. Well, she added a small little flower on there too. So we say it's been made by April, Basil, and Florence. So there's a few of the toys inside and you can organize them how you like, but we are kind of got tickled out of this is Paddington Bear. And this was my granddaughter's dad, in other words, my son's bear when he was a little boy of one. So that's kind of fun that he's found a place in her heart and in this toy box that could last also for another generation. Hi Paddington! Hi everyone! I'm over here! Bye! If you could hit the like button, make a comment or share, we can reach more people, have more people in this conversation and um, Thank you for doing that and see you next week.